Forty-five percent of the murders that take place are family or friend related. That's true, but, but, okay, because, okay, once again, I, this is where I get upset in the show. Black folks are good at blaming crime and drugs on everybody else. We don't make the drugs, somebody else blow them in. But when you see brothers on the corner with white t-shirts on, taking phone calls at 2 in the morning, 30 degrees outside, don't even have a coat on, doesn't the alderman take some responsibility for that? Joanne Thompson, come on now. No, come on, no, I don't why, why think not? so. You're the alderman. I that, no, I think that they should take responsibility for themselves. Who? Who? The, the people, uh, they should, because drug dealers, they don't go off of their block to sell drugs, so they belong to someone. Mm -hmm. And if they do go off their block, somebody is co-signing the fact that they're doing it. Mm -hmm. And so nobody ever wants to tell. When it's your kid, he comes home and he helps you pay the light bill, the gas bill, then, you know, you turn a bl blind eye yeah. to these situations. Yeah, care so, And you one. just don't tell. And some people are afraid to tell who's doing what. Yeah, well, it's you know, our he, fault if we don't point. report it. If it's our fault if we don't work, get on, a, get on our commander to mm -hmm. do something about it. It's our fault if we don't talk to those neighbors and say, turn Johnny in. You know that's Miss Jones' grandchild. Right. It's our fault then. It's not our fault that they're out there. Okay. Uh, okay, good. And I'm glad that you and Alderman Thompson clarified that because, and I agree with you, it's, it's, it's not always the pointed finger at the alderman. Of course, you're like the first line of defense and sure. offense, but that's not always fair. I got to move forward. Let's talk about your wards. You have to explain this to me. Your wards were predominantly voting for Rahm Emanuel. We see that there really was no consensus black candidate. The consensus black candidate ended up being Rahm Emanuel because black folk went to Rahm Emanuel. They said, forget Mosley Braun, Doc doesn't have enough juice, and Van Pelt Watkins, uh, we don't, we're a little iffy about her as well. So, Joanne Thompson, Alderman, help me out here. Why did your ward go for Rahm Emanuel? And now I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just saying why. Well, I don't really have an answer for that. But uh, I guess they was tired of the status quo, and then you seeing all the things on t television, you know, all the negative stuff. Carol goes and do her little <laughs> thing, and with Van Pelt Watkins, and uh, it's, it just went that way. Yeah, absolutely. You know, <laughs> you know what? Let me take some phone calls. Seven seven three four eight seven three six three zero is the number. We've got Cornelius on the phone lines. Cornelius, how are you this evening? Talk to us on off sixty third, Cornelius. I'm doing fine. Uh, to me, there's two things that are always been running in these wars. They always talk about what they're going to do. They should have just picked one black person to run in each war instead of having three or four. How can you choose uh, who you're going to vote for? So most of the time, you have to do something for you, they don't do that for you. Mm. Hey, if, or, if they can't do the job, they should just get out of the way. Wow. Hey, Cornelius, thank you so much for that phone call. You know, he raises a good point. Yes, too many people running for election. We even saw that in the mayor. I mean, there were 20 people on the ballot at first, and of course people started to get knocked off. But, but when it comes to the number of people on the ballot, as well as the campaign promises that the three of you will make, have made, as well as your challengers' campaign promises, can you really fulfill those promises? Or is it a pipe dream and you just say, if you elect me, I'll do it for you. Who wants to answer that? Talk to me. Well, I can look at some of the literature that I put out in 2007, and I did this intentionally. Uh, and look, went back at it, looked at it, and every issue that I put out and said that I was going to address, we have done that. Youth programming. We've done health initiatives. We've done and created new housing, affordable housing, market rate housing. We have addressed the economic development. We brought in new businesses and we put in new strip malls. All of those things that we talked about, schools have been getting attention to. Those things that we've talked about, we've done. The issue with crime, the issue with crime is the perception of crime is much greater than the reality of the numbers. Okay, so the perception is greater, but you didn't pull 50%. So, over 50% of the constituents in your ward said, you know what, I'm not going out like that, I'm not voting for Willie B. Cochran. Fredrina, then I'm going to go to uh, Joanne, Joanne Thompson. Two things real quickly. Number one, when you run as an incumbent, you have a record and that's what people attack. When you run as a challenger, you don't have a record, so you make up all sorts of things. Number two, regarding the other candidates and their supporters, 
you you go from a premise that these people are voting against the incumbent as opposed to voting for my neighbor, voting for my son, voting for my girlfriend's son. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those votes are voting for people as opposed to against someone. Yes, yeah, a good point. Alderman right. Thompson. Well, during the campaign uh, last time, I promised to do my best, as I always do, and to put the needs of the people first. And that's what I did. The 16th Ward was neglected for a long time. Did, yeah. You know, it really was. And like I said, uh, the infrastructure, we get $1.32 million to do this. And when you got sidewalks that need to be fixed everywhere, mm -hmm. streets, alleys, and, you know, it's hard to get to everything. And no one wants to be patient. Everyone thinks that I think I should have mine first because I've waited for 15 years. He thinks he needs his first because he's waited for 15 and a half. Good point. You know so, what? I'm going to give you some compliments here quickly. It looks like Janice says, I'm voting for Alderman Thompson in our ward. It looks like I've got a comment here from uh, Messiah that says, I'm voting for Willie Cochran. He's the best candidate. And Thank I you, think Messiah. I had a Fredrina Lyle comment here. And it says, uh, it's John. John says, thanks for the information. Go to the sixthwardblog.com. Let me take a phone call here. I got a call from Jill. Jill, thanks for calling off 63rd. Jill, talk to me. Hi, I'm calling because I'm, I'm, I'm a sixth ward resident, and I received a very negative call from the Lyle campaign um, in regards to, I guess, the one running against her, Sawyer. I understand that she's in a runoff, but I have a, 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 a grave respect, a great respect for um, Eugene Sawyer, the former mayor. Okay. And I don't understand why they have to bring him into it if she's running against his son. Why does okay. she have to go and talk so negative against Mr. Sawyer? Jill, thanks for the phone call. I appreciate that and Jill we're gonna get I'm gonna get to you Alderman Lyle for Drina Lyle is running against Roderick Sawyer uh, he basically has some blue blood when it comes to politics in Chicago Joanne Thompson is running against Hal Baskin and we've got Willie Cochran running against Che Rhyme Fest Smith quickly can you just address this I mean you we, true, have, false? we have not phone banked one person since the election on February 22nd. So I heard this earlier. It's all over the Facebook. But we're not face, uh, we are not phone banking or calling any one person. We won't start till next week. Secondly, I spoke at the mayor, former mayor's funeral. He is someone that I held in the highest regard. You will never hear me say anything disrespectful or untoward about the father. And when we requested by reporters for the last five, six weeks to say something negative about the son, I did not say that. Hmm. So, no, I haven't phone banked a living person, nor has anyone under my control. I don't know anything about it, and I will stand by that. Do the two of you have phone banking or no. automatic calling? No, not nothing me. like I that. Do. No. You, you do? Yes. And is, no. it, is it heavily controlled by you, or do you just delegate that to someone else? Yeah, yes or no? Scripts. All scripts? Yeah, all scripts? Yes. Okay, let's take another phone call here. Laura, thanks for calling off 63rd. Laura, what's on your mind this evening? Hi, Laura, what's on your mind? Laura's not there right now. Let's go to another question here. Amaya Pavar in the 49th Ward, he went door to door in the 49th. He was the underdog. He won, became the first Asian American alderman. Some of you said you've gone door to door, others didn't. Do you realize that going door to door is still the best method of getting elected? Joanne Thompson. Yeah, it's the best method. And if you can do it, you should. But uh, I found it difficult to do a lot of it because I work, you know. I do work. Yeah, that's so, the key. Put in the yeah. work, <laughs> you know, put so, in the work. Yes, and the, the incumbent yeah. has a great deal of work to do. If people don't understand, my job holds me 12, 14 hours a day. Your job is to go door to door, Willie B. No. Cochran. You're no, running for no. office. The taxpayer pays your exorbitant aldermanic salary of $100,000 a, minute. Of 100, uh, man, you a some, year. You, you are making some statements that just are inflammatory here by me. And when it's you not say inflammatory? Make, yeah, when you start talking it's about so gigantic exorbitant, and your job is to go door to door, my job is to build buildings. My job okay. is to help with education. My job is to create youth programs. My job is to sit on aviation committee. My job is to sit on parks committees, address police issues, uh, police committee, budget, oh, budgetary you, I'm issues, not saying the all three, of those things. I'm not saying the three of you aren't worth the money. I think aldermen should be paid handsomely. You but, know, but, 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 but however, when you're running for a campaign, the people want to see you. Fredrina Lyle, door to door? 
I was door to door yesterday and would have been today, but I'm here. 